Hey fellow YouTubers, uh, I just recently picked up uh, Pro Trekker 400AW and I just wanted to do a quick review to show you guys how much can it really fit. So according to this instruction it fits uh, one to two Pro DSLRs with grip and lens attached up to 400mm f2.8 plus uh, four to six additional lenses, two flash units, accessories, personal gear and up to 15.4 widescreen laptop. Plus, uh, it actually has about three compartments for tripods. Um, I guess one of these can be used for like a water pack, but yeah, honestly, um, uh, I apologize, four, because you can uh, actually get one on the bottom of here. So you can put like four tripods on this. Um, I don't know why you would need four tripods. I have a tripod and a monopod. Um, but uh, yeah, it definitely definitely fits a lot. So um, what I wanted to show you is uh, after I unclip this little lunch bag, or so I like to call it, is it kind of actually looks like a um, suitcase, and it is carry-on compatible. So uh, the reason I got this over the 600 AW is the, uh, is because the 600 AW is not airplane carry-on compatible. So, um, but at the same time, it still has plenty of room in here. Okay, so if I pop this open, uh, it comes with this little fanny pack, and it's amazing because I can fit all my batteries in here. All my batteries that I'm taking uh, for the trip are in there, and uh, this, this bag is going to Russia. So, I definitely got it because it definitely feels sturdy and durable. Um, it has all these additional uh, sturdy pockets in here. I keep my remotes in here, my SD cards. Um, I'm sure all you guys are familiar with this Pelican case uh, for your compact flashes if you use a 7D or any of the Canon series. Uh, over here I have a 70 by 200. I have my uh, F4. Um, this is a 24 by 105 Canon lens. A couple chargers and a bunch of empty space. Now, what am I going to do with this empty space? Well, I have this rig right here um, that is going to Russia. And uh, I'm going to try to get it all in in the bag. So this all this stuff will be put in here. Now, I also got a Benro monopod here that I'm going to try to fit in there somehow. Maybe not in there, maybe attach it to uh, one of the tripod areas. And yeah, of course, you know, gotta get this fanny pack in there. So, lots of stuff, and uh, I just want to show you guys how it all magically will fit in there. Alright, and there you have it. Probably like 20 minutes later, I was able to pack all this stuff in here. Um, just so you can see, you see there's nothing left in the room. My Benro has its own little bag, so thank goodness for that. This uh, monopod, the mini road, uh, it's a little longer than the Benro, which I'm not happy with, but hopefully it fits in my bigger suitcase. Um, so what we have here is my follow focus, road mic, they were like made for each other, nice and compact there. I got my 50mm prime with, a, uh, with my Lexar card reader and uh, my flash. You know, and I still got some room on top here. Here's my 7D with a Tamron 24 by 70, all nice and compact here. And like, there's a little belt that you can actually strap on there, but I'm not gonna do that because I gotta put this back in here. Uh, my headphones, AT, uh, Audio Technica ATHM50, just clamps and wires and stuff like that for my LCD, so that all fits in there. Here's my LCD with my battery pack, all nice and snug. Uh, here's my, uh, what's it called, uh, 70 by 200. Uh, and then I got some stuff on the bottom there. Plenty of room on the bottom. I got extension cables, power adapters. Even got my fur in there. And uh, here's my 24 by 105. Nice and compact. And a bunch of just chargers and whatnot. Um, here's my... Pelican card reader, a couple of remotes. Here's a. Uh, I got my lens pen and uh, USB 3.0 cable. 
couple more cables. I'm, I don't really use these. I don't see the point. I have uh, compact flashcards. So, um, yeah. And then this thing came in really handy because I got all my wires in here and my Zoom H4n. So, if we attempt to close this right now with one hand, it's a little bit difficult. But it seems to be going just fine. Got a little bulge on this side, but nothing. It's not impossible. So there you have it. The Trekker Pro 400 already for Russia. A cool feature that I forgot to mention is this extra laptop case. It comes with its own laptop case for a 15.2 or 15.4 inch laptop and uh, it's airport security compatible so if you're going through a security check you can just pull this thing out and they'll allow that. You don't have to take out your laptop and this slides just slides right back in there. So pretty cool. Okay and then uh, that thing goes on top just like that. You got your little backpack straps. Um, over here there's some additional pockets. You can put even stuff in here, some more cards. Apparently they assume you use uh, the SD cards. But yeah, there's some more room in those pockets. I wouldn't risk it at the airport. They might say, hey, your bag is too wide. So I wouldn't risk it. But I did fit some stuff in here. What I fit in here uh, with my white balance card and my chargers. So got some chargers in there. Um, it's a couple of cool features. You get this water tank thing that you can put in your bag. Um, yeah, and then of course it's all it's all weatherproof right here on the bottom. We got the little, we got the little bag that keeps it all weatherproof. So, yep. Yeah. So this has been uh, Tracker Pro. Looking forward to using this, and uh, definitely seems like a good deal. By the way, there's like an additional pocket here for something else, but. See what does it say? Harness adjustment tool. Okay. Yeah, uh, I definitely, if you're interested in a great backpack, definitely stop by your local camera store and check it out. Uh, this is the Low Pro Trekker 400 uh, AW. All right. Thank you very much.